Hi guys, this is Steve O, this is Tarantula Assassin Enclosures, and we are unboxing seven new additions. Hi guys, welcome back. Right, first of all, I would like to say a big thank you to all of you. All of you who have shown me so much support. We The channel has just hit 4,000 subscribers. I never ever thought in two years that we'd get this amount of people actually hitting that subscribe button. Um, I am overwhelmed with the, the love and support you guys have shown me over the last two years it's almost exactly two years that we started on this youtube journey um i done it i started it because i used to get a lot of questions asked about how i built stuff so um i thought i'd give it a go i've never well i thought i'd do a couple and if no one watched then i'll just give it up as a bad idea but you guys have continued watching and you've continued hitting that subscribe button and that has sort of spurred me on and it's also sort of pushed me on to bigger, better builds like, you know, we've got the Star Wars one, which is the last one, which I really, really do love. Just that one there. Um, all the other ones, I think I'm pushing myself further and further with it each, every single one we do. But apart from that, guys, today, today we are unboxing seven new additions. Now, these are from a good friend of mine, Simon Johns, who is um, he's kitting out a van and traveling around the UK, which sounds pretty cool. But unfortunately, he cannot take all his teas with me. So he sent them my way, knowing that they would be going into one of these custom enclosures um, as soon as they're old enough. Um, no doubt the... The spider wall will sort of venture off that way as well. So, uh, yeah, there's loads more bills to come and these spiders will be part of it. Um, big thank you, mate, for these. So without further ado, let's go get down to see what we have been delivered today. Cheers, guys. Right. Let's have a pictures see what we have in here. Let's keep pack nice and warm. First one that's tailless whip scorpion. Panther beater scada. HP Columbia Climb. Patch. It's poking out there. Hey, big, hey, big. Pink toe. SP Panama. Elegance. Get down to rehouse with them. So, what we're going to start out with is the Panther Beatus. So, we've got a nice little tub here. We're going to start out with this one because I, I kind of like that little pot there. So, I might use that for the ABIC. It's 
really funky little pots. You'll have to let me know where you got these from, chap. I've only got one other Pampabetus in my collection. That's the SP Costa. So, we're just gonna have a look. Pamper beaters are what, one of the most stunning tarantulas out there. They're always really good feeders as well. So, this one seems pretty docile to be honest. It says when it, so it just goes and bolts everywhere. I hope you can see this guys. How stunning is that? Very well fed, very well looked after. But this pot be okay. I wouldn't be surprised if this one molts soon. Very dark headman on there. So. Tea. Yeah, a little bit bigger, yeah, probably needs a little bit bigger pot. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave it in this one. But this one is definitely going to go in a nice big build. So if we just move it round that way, so it's nowhere near the ledge. You see the black on the admin now. And it goes, disappears. So what we're going to do, let it settle in now. Move on to the next. Right, next. Avic, Avic. Now these guys are always awesome. So. Going Nice look at that one. How cute is that? So, look at that little setup. So, let me just pop this one in. Be all right in there for a while. Then a bit for quite slow growers. So I don't imagine you'll be out of this one for long. But these, it's a nice little setup tub for it. All right, next one. All right, next one is this one here. So. Have a little look inside, but I think this, yeah, little pumpkin patch. They need to do awesome webbing as well. So. Did say it is 
bolted a bit the pumpkin patch so we're gonna get nice and carefully and there you go all in there lovely as I was saying we're gonna just Is that up? <laughs> Already on the side, he wanted to bolt that one. Right, next one. Right, so next we're going to do something a little bit different. We're doing the whip scorpion. So let's have a little which is in this. I've never actually had one of these before. So. It's all new to me. There we go. Uh, I don't think these move very fast. So, it's just a basic little sort of a boreal setup. Disappeared behind the cork bark down the, in the bottom there. Awesome. Something different. Thank you, man. So what we're going to do now, we're going to do the two little ones. Starting off with the uh, sea elegans. First one out, tiny, tiny, tiny. Oh, done a bolt. Oh, where you going? Where you going? Run away! Run away! Oh, gives you a chance to have a look. Tiny, tiny, tiny little runner. There we go. Sorted. Right. right, last one. It's a bit of a bigger pumpkin patch. So we've got a nice bigger enclosure. Quite 
little bit of substrate in there. So you can web all the way around. With these flighty ones, sometimes it is best to have a bit of a gap between you and the top as well. Not overly massively high, but it's a web all the way around that anyway. So, someone did say that the pumpkin patches were the least behaved. Decent size as well. Stunning colours these are. That can be a little bit blighty, so that's why be a little bit gentle. under that cork bark, which is good. So guys, as usual, thanks for watching. It really does mean a lot every single view I get notified of. A big thanks to Simon as well. I hope your trip goes absolutely awesome, dude. Thank you so much for the spiders. They will end up in one of these custom bills very, very shortly or as soon as they grow up. Apart from that, guys, please comment down below. I love reading your comments. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. It notifies you of upcoming videos. It doesn't cost you a penny, but it does mean a lot to me. Apart from that, guys, I shall see you later.